How's it going everyone? It's Jared here from Eagle Rice Farm again. To sort of um, show you what I've been doing today, we have a mulcher mower or a flail mower and uh, instead of using a slasher we've been I've been mowing the, the tall weeds in the in the vineyard and it comes down and it breaks it up into these really loose really loose uh, chopped up matter so if you can see it across here it's spread it across the whole the whole paddock and you can see little bits like down here but only take a little bit of rain and the grass will poke up through it and what that does allows that thatch to settle down and put the uh, carbon across the whole the whole paddock if you use a slasher you end up having a, um, a windrow effect and that doesn't break down nearly as quickly and smothers the grass underneath it. So I particularly like the flail mower. Just thought I'd show you the effect of the flail mower down the vineyard. Now, I'll preface this by saying I would not advise that this is the best way to manage the vineyard. I've been running out of time and you can see how much weed has been growing up over the vines. But the flail mower has, has really knocked it down and created quite a good thatch on the ground. I've had to go up each side here and uh, you might think that the vine's a bit strange because there's no wire but what I'm going to do is they're going to be tethered up like that and it's going to be head pruned which is an old an old-fashioned way of growing the grapes but uh, it was there was so much grass here that I couldn't, um, you couldn't walk through it. We've seen a few snakes around here. It's um, what some of you'd call summer in Australia. I call it the hot dry. So you can see there's still quite a, quite a bit of um, weed growth still. And I'll, I'll handle that as I go through and tie up the vines and set the irrigation and start managing them a bit better. It's Christmas Eve 2021. The vine's been in a couple of years. We had a few losses with drought, but we're starting to get there. Just needs a bit more um bit more management. And that's the when you're going to do this sort of farming, you need to have time to do it, and I haven't. But I can make excuses all day. I should have done it. This is our little 35 horsepower tractor, little four-wheel drive thing, and it's pretty handy. And it's what's been driving our flail mower. <coughs> and this is it here. It's slightly offset. You can see you can line up with that the uh, near side tyre. And so it, it comes out over this side. I'll get down and show you what it's like underneath. Hopefully you'll be able to see it all right. There you can, there, you can see the hammers there. And they flail around and chop up chop up the weeds other models have a little bit more room above the pipe of that axle and that allows the um, that allows the, the grass up out here to spin around a bit more and get flailed a bit more but that's uh, I opted for a lighter version <laughs> 